In this step, we're going to take a look at the power set of a set. The power set of a set is basically the set of all subsets of that set. The power set of empty set, so if you have empty set, the power set of empty set is the set including empty set itself. Empty set has only one subset, which is itself. The power set of set including one is the set including the empty set and the set including one, which is the exact same set that we saw here. So the set including one has only two subsets. One of them is empty set, and the other one is the set itself. The power set of a set including one and three includes empty set, set including one, set including three, and set including one and three, which is basically the exact same set. So the cardinality of the power set here is just one. The cardinality of set here is two. The cardinality of this set here is one, two, three, and four. Do we see any pattern here? It seems like it follows 2 to power n. n is the number of elements in that set. So since we don't have anything in empty set, 2 to power 0 is equal to 1. And as you can see, the power set of empty set has only one member. This set has one member. 2 to power 1 gives 2. So the power set of set including 1 has two members. Here, the set has two members. 2 to power 2 is 4. So we expect to see 1, 2, 3, and 4 members, which is true. Now consider set including 1, 2, 3. This set has subsets including 1 and 2, including 1 and 3, including 2 and 3. Set including 1 and 2 has two subsets, which are 1 and 2. Set including 1 and 3 has two subsets, which are 1 and 3. Set including 2 and 3 has two subsets, which are 2 and 3. And please note that empty set is the subset of any set. But 2 to power 3, we expect to see 8 subsets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And don't forget the set itself. So you have eight subsets. So the power set of set including one, two, three has eight members. Okay, let's take a look at another example. The power set of set including one, three, and five. Well, remember empty set is the subset of any set and also the set itself. So these two are given. These two are trivial subsets. Set including 1 is another subset. Set including 3 is another subset. Set including 5 is another subset. The set including 1 and 3 is another subset. The set including 1 and 5 is another subset. And then the set including 3 and 5 is another subset. So following the formula, 1, 2, 3. 2 to power 3 is 8. We expect to have 8 subsets. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 subsets. So again, following the pattern, it is 2 to power n. And n is the number of elements in that set. Let's take a look at another set. The power set of set including 0, 1, 2. Empty set. The set itself. And then... Subsets with only one members and subsets including two members. And as you can see, you have eight subsets. In general, we can say that if a set has n elements or n members, then its power set 
which includes all the subsets of that set, has 2 to power n elements. Very well. Another question is, what is the relation between Cartesian product between the power set of A and power set of B and power set of the Cartesian product between A and B? Well, I'm going to give you a counter example here and show you these two are not equal to each other. Take a look. Consider set A to be equal to set B and it has only one member, which is one. Then the power set of A includes empty set and the set itself. The power set of B includes empty set and the set itself. Well, if you find the Cartesian product between power set of A and power set of B, this is basically empty set and empty set. The second order pair is empty set and set including one, which is the set itself. The next order pair is set including one and empty set. Then you have set including one and set including one, which is the same set. So the Cartesian product between power set of A and power set of B has one, two, three, four members. Now, if you form the Cartesian product between A and B, it is just a set including one and one. So if you were to form the power set of the Cartesian product between A and B, it only includes the empty set and the set itself. So obviously, these two sets are not equal to each other because the first set has four members and the second set has only two members. It is clear that the power set of A, Cartesian product with power set of B is not the same as the power set of the Cartesian product between A and B. So it is an important question that usually show up on the exam and students need to think about one counter example to disprove a property. For example, if I ask you, hey, the power set of A, Cartesian product with power set of B is the same as power set of uh, the Cartesian product between A and B, you're going to say that no, it's not a true statement. And here we have a counter example to disprove that statement.